reforms in the last 30 years? Are we proud of the current state of press freedom in Ghana? What is the future looking like? Professor of Journalism and Communication Studies, Professor Kwame Kakarin, Deputy Board Chairperson of the Rights Information Commission, Elizabeth Heron Asari, shared some thoughts on News Desk with MFR Power a while ago. There is a lot of self-censorship, and if you, you have observed the media's functions from 1992 when the Constitution came in, uh, self-censorship has become much more prominent now. The, the independence of the media in terms of their editorial uh, judgment, editorial decision-making, has continued to slide downwards. And take, for instance, the state-owned media. And what do we see from graphic GBC and so on? Rarely do you see any discussion of a critical nature about uh, uh, whatever government is in office now. Okay. Mm. Um, whether it's NDC or NPP, uh, the editors, the managers continue to, to, to self-censor for reasons that I don't understand, but also because of subtle, not very open ways of pressure from, from a ruling party and ruling government on this managers of our media. Okay. If you ask the Minister of Information now and other agents, they'll tell you that they don't interfere with the, the, the state-owned media. The media has a lot of role to play. And, um, and like Prof said, if we do not take the bull by the horns, then we'll be shoved left, right, center, and then we'll just be moving according to the dictates of the powers that be or those in authority. Again, I think that the media needs to set up when it comes to um, the personnel that they employ to work in the media houses. You realize that because they are not paid well, um, you don't really get a lot of trained journalists working in the media front. And you realize that a lot of them are learning on the job. And so like Prof said, instead of being very authoritative and being assertive, you cower because you are afraid of um, those in authority. But if you're, a me if you're a media person, if you're a journalist or you're a media person worth your salt, you'll be able to stand your ground and know that the Constitution protects you and know that there are laws that will back you. Um, like you said, the uh, libel law is being brought through the back door. Well, in the last few minutes, Spring Park has issued a statement uh, with regards to Ghana's um, participation and it's a dip in the press freedom index. And it says in the political contest, journalists have experienced growing pressures in recent years. They have increasingly resorted to self-censorship as the government has shown itself to be intolerant of criticisms. A third of the country's media outlets are owned by politicians or by people with political ties and the content they produce is largely partisan. The government chooses the National Media Commission, Commission's members but has no influence over the appointment of those in charge of private owned media outlets. It goes on to give a legal framework which says freedom of the press is guaranteed by 1992 constitution. Media outlets are free to operate as they like, subject to National Media Commission's regulations. The 2019 law on access to information authorizes journalists to demand information of national interest. However, a clause in the law allows a fee to be charged if the information requested is in a language other than English, a provision used to deny journalists access to the information they seek.